Today, I'm going to show you how to create Antidote to Uncommon Poisons, the fourth installment of our Doxy collection. The things you'll need to create our Antidote to Uncommon Poisons is one glass dropper bottle, and I decided to do a dropper bottle because I thought it would be good if it was a useful type of bottle. Considering that you would use this on a Doxy bite, since their bites are poisonous, I thought it would be good if it was something that you could physically like drop onto the wound, similar to Essence of Dittany. Um, just so then that way it doesn't necessarily have to be ingested. But obviously, if you needed to ingest it, you could still use the dropper bottle. So I felt like this would be a good style of bottle to use for this one. We are going to use rubbing alcohol, but you could also use distilled water and glycerin. And I'll put a card up above that'll show you how to do that in case you don't have rubbing alcohol. We are going to use some black food coloring. We're going to use a beaker to mix some alcohol with the black food coloring because I'm actually going for more of a gray color, so I'll show you how we're going to do that easily today. We are going to use the dark green color shift mica powder from that collection that we have been pulling different mica powders from, and I'll put a link to that in the description down below. I'm going to be using some of this chain as well as my Ministry of Magic wax seal a funnel to help with filling, and then I'm using a silver and gold metallic marker. It doesn't matter what kind of metallic marker it is, it just needs to be metallic so that you will see it on black because we are going to use some black hot glue. And I'm also going to be using some non-stick foil, but you could also use some glass. And finally, our label printed on sticker paper and the link for this is in the description down below. Let's get started. Would you like a chance to win one of these potions? Then consider supporting me over on Patreon. All of my patrons have a chance to win a monthly potion drawing. Link is in the description down below. The first thing we're gonna do is mix up our gray solution. So the easiest way to do that without having it be too dark is to mix some of your alcohol in a separate container with the black food coloring. And then we're gonna put just a little bit in here and then we're gonna fill it up with more just plain clear alcohol until we get the desired color that we want because we could always add a little bit more of the black um, if we decide we wanted it to be a little bit darker but this is the easiest way to mix it without it being just really really dark black. So we're going to put some alcohol in here. And then we're going to add a little bit of our black food coloring. And with black, a little goes a very long way. So I'm literally just gonna add a drop. And then we're just gonna mix this up. Now, as you can see, this is really dark. And if I would have just done that one drop in this bottle, it would have all been that dark. And um, that's not the color that I'm going for. I want it to be more of a light gray. So then that way we can see the shift to the green even quicker than we would if it was the dark black. Okay, so I have taken our little stopper off. And I'm gonna add the funnel. And we're just gonna add a little bit in here. And honestly, that might even be too much. And then we're going to add some plain alcohol. I'm probably gonna put the funnel back in here. Okay, yeah, no, actually that made a pretty good color. So that way we're able to get the grayish color instead of a solid black. Now you will find that with most blacks like this one, that they are going to throw more of a blue or purple pigment. Sometimes it's even a brown, um, which I think is perfectly fine. But if, if that's not what you want, play around with different food colorings and you'll be able to get different types of black or gray. Okay, so I'm going to add in some of the green mica powder and I'm actually using um, an X-Acto knife to just add our amounts in here because I don't wanna do too much. And if I was to just try to pour this in here, it would go all over the place. So we're gonna use the knife to help guide it in here. So we'll start with that much. Screw our little stopper on here. 
and we're going to shake this up. And as you can see, that is the perfect amount for it to change it from the purpley gray color to our beautiful green. Now it is said that a brewed properly antidote to uncommon poisons is a green color and that's why I wanted to make it a shift. But because this is technically the fourth piece to our Doxy collection, I still wanted it to look like it goes with it. Now I did give you an option with the stickers where you can either use the same blue hued ones like we've used with the other three or you can go with a gray one. Now I am going to use the gray just because I feel like it plays nicer with the green but if you would like to use the blue so that it matches the other three exactly um, I do give you that option but I felt like because it was the same font and same style and everything else that the gray would still be a nice addition to that collection but it it goes better, I think, with the green, so that's why I'm going to use the gray. But I do give you the option of the blue in case that's something that you would like. So now that we have this mixed up, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna embellish it. Okay, so I wanted to add a little bit of a decoration here on the neck, and I didn't wanna do drips or anything like that because, again, this is gonna be something that's used all the time, so I wanted it to be something um, fairly easy. So we are going to use some of this ball chain and I measured it out already. This will essentially make three wraps around here. And then I have added the little fastener to the end, and that's what I'm gonna use. But you could definitely glue this on as well, either with hot glue or E6000, anything like that, because as you're gonna see here, it's not super easy to uh, fix this together, but I am fairly determined. So it will go together. It just takes a little bit of time. So I got it. As you can see, there is the little like chain in the back. So if that bothers you, just glue it and it'll still give you the exact same effect. But again, I just want it to be kind of a simple little look here, but still has a little bit of that metal quality that we have with the other three in the Doxy line. So then that way it still, again, looks like part of it, but it isn't an exact replica of the pieces because again, I am gonna use the gray label. So another thing we're gonna to do to embellish this is I wanna add a Ministry of Magic wax seal to it. Now, if you have ever tried to put a wax seal on the side of a bottle, um, it's, it's not very easy. You're not gonna get the full design. It's not going to lay right. So that's why we're going to use the non-stick foil here to make a wax seal, peel it off, and then we're going to stick it onto our bottle once we have the label on there. So then that way, that'll be how we can get the Ministry of Magic seal on there. We did a similar thing when we made um, Thestral hair. So we're gonna take our black hot glue and we're going to drip the appropriate amount on here. That looks about right. And we're going to place our wax stamp in there. I'll put a link to a Ministry of Magic wax stamp in the description down below. But um, I did pick this one up at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and unfortunately, they don't do the wax seals like they used to. They used to have this big display in Flourish and Blots that had a whole bunch of all kinds of different seals. It had the Malfoy family crest. It had all of the Hogwarts houses. It had the Hogwarts seal, Ministry of Magic, Deathly Hallows, all that. And I, I have purchased several from them, but now they just have some like prepackaged things that are like the Ravenclaw stamp and Gryffindor and the, the Hogwarts one. But it doesn't give you the full array that they used to have before, which I really miss and I actually think is a huge, huge miss for them in Flourish and Blots because I feel like it should definitely be in there. So anyway, um, I will put a, a link in the description to one that you can purchase off of Amazon. But this one was purchased at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And as you can see, it comes right off of that nonstick foil, which I love. Um, but if you didn't have this, you can also do it on glass and it'll peel right off of that as well. Now we are not going to just leave this black. We're going to add a little bit of the gold and silver to it, which is why I have the metallic markers. Okay. So now we're going to take our metallic markers and I'm going to make the M in the middle, the gold color, and then I'm going to do the outside in silver. Okay, 
So that is not easy to do on camera, but as you can see, it just kind of highlights the Ministry of Magic logo. Okay, so now that I have my bottle embellished and I have my little stamp here ready, we're gonna go ahead and put our label on the bottle. And again, like always, I went around the outside edge with a matching marker, which just helps give it a little bit more of a finished look. And we're going to place our label on the bottle. Now, as you can see, I went up a little bit on the bottle because we're going to affix our little Ministry of Magic badge down here. So I wanted to make sure there was enough room for that. So we're going to take a little bit of our black hot glue. And we're just going to put a little bit on here. Enough to stick it down, but not enough to get our stamp to get misshapen when we stick it down. Okay. So we have our little Ministry of Magic logo here. Just letting them know that this has been approved by the Ministry of Magic. So this one's really simple. And when we shake it up, we get this really great green swirling effect. And again, this just kind of finishes off our Doxy collection. And there you have it, our fourth installment in the Doxy collection, The Antidote to Uncommon Poisons. This will be a great addition to our potion and prop collection we make along the way. So if you guys like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.